So welcome to uh, pre MWC two thousand nineteen briefing, Huawei. Good Thank to you. see you again. Yeah. Good to be here. I know we uh, you have been uh, in the research of the WTTX or fixed mobile fixed wireless access for That's quite right. a long time, right? So uh, in the last year, there has been quite a lot of a uh, uh, development in the market. So I would like to have some discussion on this topic. Okay. Well, uh, I, I know that at least one uh, leading uh, operator has suggested that um, 5G fixed wireless could uh, have a similar impact on the uh, fixed broadband market to that we saw 20 years ago with uh, 2G on yep. uh, on fixed voice. Yes. Uh, would you agree with that? Uh, that um, I think uh, yes, but uh, not 100%. I think largely the, the answer is yes. Um, we have to look at uh, the point that uh, so in year 2018, according to Huawei's uh, market research, that uh, uh, globally, the in addition, I mean the new uh, WTTX subscribers uh, for the first time exceeded the number of the FTTH, FTTX subscribers. So uh, especially if we look at uh, the Africa market, so for the African market, the accumulated uh, WTTX subscriber will exceed, actually exceeded the FTTH in the African continent. But in addition to that, uh, we also uh, found some regions like uh, Latin America, they're also doing really good in the, in the WTTX subscriber acquisition. So we believe that uh, that is an upcoming new technology, which is 5G which will bring a uh, much higher capability into the game. I mean, whichever not possible to be addressed by the 3G or 4G mm -hmm. now yeah. can be addressed by 5G. Yeah. Well, I was actually going on to ask you about 5G and yeah. the capabilities it brings. Can you say a little more about what, what those capabilities are? Yeah, 5G um, is firstly about EMBB. It's about what large bandwidth and also uh, uh, mice and MIMO, which will actually boost first the speed. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the 4G time, we may still have some speed constraint, but 5G will give you full speed. Mm -hmm. So we can actually use the 5G to uh, offer full range of services to the end users. So I believe that's the first the speed. Secondly, I believe that's also the cost per line. Mm -hmm. uh, with the 5G, especially with the mice and MIMO and also the large bandwidth, we can easily boost the capacity by 25 to 40 times than the 4G. So with this large capacity offering to the market, we can reduce the cost per line a lot. And we can also offer premium um, broadband service to the home. Mm -hmm. So that's why we believe that 5G will be a real opportunity for FWA. I would like to also uh, ask in question, you know, if you look at the global market about the home broadband is to still have uh, less than le about 50% of the home hasn't been connected by mm -hmm. broadband in any technology. What do you think the potential of the FWA play in this area? Yes, and our research shows a, a continued uh, improvement in broadband connectivity, but it's not happening rapidly or it could happen more quickly. Uh, I, I, I think uh, the uh, emerging markets particularly are showing some very low levels of uh, broadband penetration currently. Um, I, I think fixed wireless access um, certainly has a, a significant role to play. I mean, we, uh, through our own research, have seen a significantly large addressable market for fixed wireless. We've looked at affordability of uh, fixed wireless services and tried to understand uh, what the, uh, the cost points are where uh, operators can deliver those kinds of services at a, an affordable um, level for subscribers. Um, so we think there's, there's a significant opportunity for fixed wireless, and including 5G. Um, there are, however, some challenges that I think need to be addressed. And um, I can talk a little bit more about those if you'd, uh, yeah. if you'd like me to. Uh, I think that FW actually in the competition with Fiverr. Mm -hmm. That's why to your first question to me, I yeah. believe FW will play an important or increasing important role mm -hmm. in replacing, substitute some fixed access. But that's fiber. Yeah. So fiber is there. If the fiber can address some of the market, mm -hmm. so probably FWA may have to compete with fiber in a certain way. 
Well, yes. I mean, we don't see uh, fixed wireless as a, as, as a, a, a substituting for for fiber in right. any significant way. Well, how we see it more is as a complementary technology. We see. Uh, uh, certainly um, an opportunity for fixed wireless to uh, perhaps replace some of the older technologies uh, that, that, you know, copper uh, uh, fixed access um, uh, where DSL networks perhaps are aging may not be, uh, it may not be an economic that's prospect right, to right. upgrade them. Yeah. Fixed wireless can certainly have a role to play. It can also be a, a a, a, an initial uh, service rolled out perhaps to uh, more remote and rural areas uh, as a precursor perhaps to yeah. maybe a fiber service being delivered at a later date but the cost um, clearly the cost uh, levels are significantly lower when you're talking about fixed yeah. wireless there is an issue in in in, uh, in rural environments uh, about return on investment and operators have to develop uh, with the help of uh, uh, equipment suppliers like Huawei develop cost-effective right. um, solution. Uh, we don't see that as being so challenging in perhaps urban and suburban environments, but certainly the more rural areas, um, it is more of a, a, an issue, I think, and that will be something that will need to be addressed over the next few years. That's, that's great. Um, um, according to our statistics, uh, by the end of 2018, um, that was 230 operators has launched the FWA or WTTX service to the market and overall we believe it's about 75 million uh, home broadband served by the mobile, techno uh, mobile technology. So uh, I think the future is exciting. So we should looking forward to a further development of the FWA in the near future. I think so, yes. I mean, I would, I would cite just a couple of other challenges. Spectrum yes, is an right. issue. I think we need to have the available spectrum in the, uh, the mid-range bands and the, and the certain millimeter wave bands. But also then you come up against other uh, challenges like uh, signal propagation and how you, That's right. how you deliver a service yeah. over, a, over a larger area. But, um, yeah, I think uh, certainly the prospects are, are very positive. Then so. the industry has to work together to overcome those challenges. Yes. To move forward. Yes, indeed. Great. Great to okay. talk to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good to meet Thank you. you. Thank you.